Hi, this is Pavel with the C Sharp project where, where of poker game. We are creating a poker game. This is video two. In a previous video, we created the class card. And in this video, we'll crea create a class called deck of cards. So let's just create a class. And here it is. Uh, I'll call it deck of cards. Now this class will inherit from card because we of course need the access to we need to know the suit and the value of each card so uh, let's do our uh, some some private variables first thing I'm gonna do a constant uh, of integer I'll call it number of cards and that's 52 there are 52 cards in the deck Technically, we don't really need uh, to, you know, uh, assign any like a specific value or make a constant. It is a deck of cards. It is 52. But I maybe sometimes we want to play with two deck of cards. I don't know. So anyway, that's that's that. Uh, the next one, private, and we will do a card of the card. array, and anyway, it's gonna be the deck. So this is gonna be the array of pl uh, of all playing cards, all right. And uh, so this is gonna have the suit and the value from the card, and this is just the number of all cards. So that's that, and uh, let's do uh, uh, a constructor for our deck of cards. We don't ex we don't need any arguments passed into it, but we will initialize the uh, the array to our new card, and the uh, number of elements or indexes will be of course the number of cards, which is fifty two. So that's our constructor, and now um, we need. Um, We need to get a, a value, um, or we need to get the current deck, basically. So uh, we need to have the ability to retrieve what the current deck is. So I'm gonna do a public card, an array. It's gonna ret it's gonna be the return value is the it's gonna be the card. I'll call it get deck, and it's gonna be get and return. The deck it returns the array deck we don't need to set it in fact we shouldn't set it because we are dealing with this uh, with this array this is what we are retrieving whatever the cards are in the current moment after I hand you know a card to a player the deck of cards changes there's now only 52 cards available and the next card is going to be for the uh, for the computer and so forth then again for the player, then for the computer. So this is gonna get current deck. So uh, now we can uh, set up uh, our deck. So uh, we will we will create deck of uh, fifty two cards. That's gonna be thirteen values each with four suits obviously the values are two to through ten and then jack queen king and ace and 13 times 4 gives you 52 surprise surprise so um let's do public void uh setup deck and the way we're gonna set it up uh we will simply populate it with the values uh, and the suits, so uh, our index uh, for the loop will be i, and for uh, each, let's start with the suit s uh, in uh, our enum that get values type of, uh, and the type of is suit. So this will give us all the values uh, for the suits 
which are four of them and uh, inside this we will loop again and this is where we will get the value so value v in enum dot get values and we are looking for the value of actually it's, we call it value but it is the value of the card or it's the face value of the card all right so um, and in it let's add it uh, to our deck so uh, deck of i which is the current index will simply equal to new card and it's gonna be the my suit which will equal to s and my value which will equal to r so now we, we, we have a suit and a, and a not r why did i say r a uh, value of v so now we have a suit of the card and a value of the card and we place it in our deck so let's say we get um what's the card let's say two of hearts then three of hearts and then when we're done with these we will go to spades with two of spades and so forth this is not a uh, shuffle yet this is gonna be actually the opposite of shuffle this is gonna be very much unshuffled so uh and we will increment the i of course the index so over here we set it to zero that's where we start but uh, we we need to get all the way to 52 so at the end deck i will equal to uh, 52 or the index i will equal to 52 okay so uh, that's uh where we set it up and now after we populate the array with the, with the cards we need to actually shuffle them so uh over here i will create public void shuffle cards so uh but i'm gonna call that function from our setup deck after it after these uh, two loops, uh, the two nested loops are uh, finished, I will call the shuffle cards. In other words, once the array is populated, we will shuffle the cards in the array. And to shuffle them, uh, so basically this is uh, shuffle the deck. Okay, so uh, we're shuffling randomly, so we will need a random uh, and um, we need a temporary card so we can uh, so we can shuffle them um, well let me let me just show you what I mean so I have a temp uh, of the uh, data type of card remember card now holds the value and a suit for each of each of the cards and uh, I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna run the shuffle thousand times, for example. Because if I run it only once, it's not gonna be shuffled very much. So I wanna randomize it uh, as much as possible. So basically, it, it's kind of a lot, thousand times. Uh, when you mix cards, you know, by hand, I don't know how many times you shuffle it, like 25, 40 maybe at most. But Hey, this is a computer it can shuffle it a thousand times and can it do it it can do it very fast so uh for our integer i'll just call it shuffle times equals zero shuffle times is less than thousand and shuffle times plus plus so like i said it's gonna shuffle it a thousand times and inside it we'll do another loop for and I'll just uh, call it i as, uh, as I always do for the index. i is less than 52, which is now the number of cards. That's a constant, so we have an access to it also because remember we are inheriting from card. Card is the uh, has the has the suit and the value, and over here we have the number of cards, which is the constant of uh, 52. And i plus plus. And now we will swap the cards. We will get two cards and we will swap them. We will swap them randomly. So we will do in, in uh, call it second card index and random.next 
and it's gonna be 13 because there are 13 cards of of one uh, of one suit basically so uh, I'm not gonna do 52 I'm just uh, shuffling them randomly uh, using the uh, number of cards per suit and uh, after that I will assign the current current card which is the deck of i to our temp variable and now i will swap them so our deck of i will now equal to deck of the index of the second card index card index and our deck of the second card index now of course equals temp which used to be the original deck i and now we swap two cards and we will repeat it thousand times and remember this is going through number of cards so this is actually going through 52 cards so within thousand times we still are looping 52 times on top of that before and we are uh, again getting the random number of uh, between 0 and 13 actually 0 and 12 because 13 is excluded but 13, 13 in uh, 13 indexes basically which correspond with the uh, uh, 13 cards uh, of each suit okay so that's our deck of cards and in the next video we will create some uh, some more classes uh, to make this program run so stick around and i'll see you in the next video take care